and now we are homebound. So I want to show you a few ways to still think about making your plates um, using some items you might have around the house. So I'm gonna use this basic paper plate as a mold to create some plates. Here we go. Yeah. Any paper plates, you could certainly try using a plate that you already have in your kitchen. Do be aware that the clay could potentially stick to it, so you may want to put a um, plastic bag, either saran wrap, if you don't have it, a garbage bag, you could put over it to just make sure that the clay can release from your plate. So I'm gonna use this bucket as a template to cut a slab, a circular slab. So this slab has stiffened up a little bit. So the clay isn't super wet or sticky. I'm gonna cut four points around this. I find that helps when I'm cutting my circle. Try to keep your blade straight up and down. And I'm rotating the slab as I pull the blade through. So rotating with my left hand as I pull the blade with my right hand. Okay, now I'm going to take the slab and just line it up on the plate and start to press it down into the paper form. Since my clay is a little more stiff, I do have to work the clay a little bit to get it to go down into the shape. You could also take your sponge and kind of help loosen that clay up and help it work down into that shape. So now we've really begun to get a nice plate shape. That you have a basic plate shape, you could continue to add on to this using the coil and pinch method. So if you're interested in doing that, you can go and watch the how to roll a coil video. So I'm just gonna go ahead and score this outside edge. If you don't have a scoring tool, you could Take a bunch of toothpicks and secure them together with a rubber band and that could work as a scoring tool. Or you could use a fork. So proceed to add a little water, vinegar, or slip to your score lines. And then place your coil where you had scored. My coil is nice and soft, so I really don't need to score it. I'm gonna 
try to slightly overlap my coil. And then using my fettling knife, I'm gonna cut at a slight angle. So then these meet together at a nice angle there. Okay, score both ends of your coil, add a little slip, water or vinegar to it, and push that seam together. Blend a little clay to the inside of that seam, and then also to the outside of it. This is gonna be your weak spot. So you wanna really make sure you compress and blend that seam together. If your clay hadn't set up before you did this, you would wanna wait and allow your clay to stiffen up a little bit in the paper plate mold before you add the coil on because I think you would really be misshapen the plate too much. Now I'm gonna take my fingers underneath of, like above the plate and underneath of the clay that I pressed into the plate and I'm gonna blend that clay up. So you can see I'm blending that clay up into the coil. So I'm gonna do that all the way around the form. Okay. And now I'm gonna take my index finger and I'm gonna blend some clay down on to the rim of the plate. And you can go ahead and leave these finger lines if you like this mark. If you don't, you could take the time and just smooth it out and blend it away. I think it's a nice texture, so I'm gonna leave it. So now you can see we've attached the coil on the back side. It is coming apart a little bit, so you could take some time right now and seal that, or you will be able to come back in after you pinch this and clean that up a little bit more as well. So now I'm gonna just start to pinch this out to create more of a rim on this plate. So you can do that by taking your thumbs and pushing your thumbs, kind of rolling them across your fingers on the outside. So I'm just rolling this out. So I'm really pushing my fingers and kind of rolling the clay outward. Now, if you wanted, to lift this a little bit more, you could do the opposite and keep pinching that thinner. And now I have my thumbs on the outside and I'm rolling them up into my fingers. So now my rim is about the same thickness as my slab was that I pressed into the plate form. So you really do want to make everything nice and uniform. If I wanted to add another coil at this point to keep this going out, I would wanna wait a little bit and let this stiffen up before I add another one because I don't want the plate to collapse over the plate form. That paper plate is strong, but not super, super strong. So that's about all I can do right now. So there is the start of a plate, or it could be a finished plate, using a plate 
a paper plate as your mold. And do make sure you go back in and seal anywhere that the coil separated from the plate. Okay.